this fourth film in the series, we're going to concentrate on what happens once you've consulted your community. Once your data has been collected and analysed, you will need to present the findings to the community and begin to develop the action plan, which forms the core of the community-led plan. If people have taken time to be part in the consultations and responded to the questionnaire, they will most certainly be interested in the results. However, the challenge at this stage will be to present a summary of the data in a succinct and comprehensive way, which encourages people to stay involved. At Rural Action Yorkshire, we can provide a one-page summary as part of our data analysis service, which is useful for letting people know about the outcomes of the consultation as well as stimulating discussion about the actions. Getting everyone back together to discuss the outcomes of the consultation will help you maintain the profile of the project and keep people engaged, but it will also give you the opportunity to test the findings and gain feedback on what actions need to be included in the plan. Encouraging and enabling the widest possible community review of the findings should of course be your aim you may feel this can be achieved at a public meeting where people have the chance to share their views and ideas. Or you may feel that other means will engage a greater number of people. Whatever your approach, once your community has agreed to the findings of the consultation and identified some priority issues, you will then need to determine how these translate into practical actions. The more detail you can build around each action in terms of how and when it will be achieved, the more credible it will appear and the greater its feasibility is likely to be, so some research may be involved.